Welcome to part 3 of the Fundamentals of Mathematics. These problems again come from Comprehensive Let Reviewer General Education Mathematics book published by Lurimar Publishing Inc. Problem number 11. What will be the quotient when you divide 4 and 2 third by 7 third? A. 1 and 5 9. B. 2. C. 3 and 5 7. D. 4. Here is our solution. First part, convert 4 and 2 thirds to improper fraction. Multiply the whole number 4 by the denominator of its combined fraction, which is 3. 4 times 3 equals 12. Next, add the numerator, which is 2, to the product that we have solved a while ago, which is 12. 2 plus 12 equals 14. Next, Place the sum, 14, over the original denominator, 3. So, 4 and 2 third becomes 14 third. Second part, divide improper fractions. Take the reciprocal of the second fraction, then change the problem to a multiplication problem. So, 14 third divided by 7 third becomes 14 third times 3 seventh. Next, Multiply the numerators. 14 times 3 equals 42. Next, multiply the denominators. 3 times 7 equals 21. Putting together our numerator and denominator, our answer becomes 42 over 21. Lastly, let's simplify our answer. 42 divided by 21 equals 2. The correct answer is letter B, 2. Problem number 12. What is half of 38 fifth? A, 38 tenth. B, 76 fifth. C, 19 fifth. D, 19 tenth. Here is our solution. Half of 38 fifth means 1 half times 38 fifth. First, Multiply the numerators. 1 times 38 equals 38. Next, multiply the denominators. 2 times 5 equals 10. Next, putting together our numerator and denominator, our answer becomes 38 tenth. Next, let's simplify our answer. We need to find the greatest common factor to our numerator and our denominator, and that is 2. Then, divide the numerator and denominator by 2. 38 divided by 2 equals 19. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. Lastly, putting together again our numerator and denominator, our answer becomes 19 fifth. The correct answer is letter C. 19 fifth. Problem number 13. Gerald has 120 marbles. He gave one-fourth of the marbles to his cousin and then one-third of the remaining to his younger brother. How many marbles were left? A30, B45, C60, D75. Here is our solution. Gerald had 120 marbles. He had to give one-fourth of that to his cousin. One-fourth of 120 is one-fourth times 120 equals 30. So, 30 marbles were given to his cousin. How many marbles were left? 120 minus 30 equals 90. Out of 90 marbles, he had to give one-third of that to his younger brother. One-third of 90 is one-third times 90 equals 30. So, 30 marbles were also given to his younger brother. How many marbles were left all in all? 90 minus 30 equals 60. The correct answer is letter C, 60. Problem number 14. What is the product of 28.12 hundredths and 13.4 tenths rounded to the nearest hundredths. A. 37.68 hundredths B. 37.69 hundredths C. 
376.80 hundredths, D, 376.81 hundredths. Here is our solution. 28.12 hundredths times 13.4 tenths equals 376.808 thousandths. The product has three hundreds, seven tenths, six ones, eight tenths, zero hundredths, and eight thousandths. As asked, our product should be rounded to the nearest hundredths. Since zero is in the hundredths position followed by eight, zero becomes one. So, 376.808 thousandths becomes 376.81 hundredths. The correct answer is letter D, 376.81 hundredths. Problem number 15. The sum of 67.48 hundredths and 32.52 hundredths is the same as the quotient of blank. A. 105, B. 350 and 7, C. 1010, D. 1530. Here is our solution. 67.48 hundredths plus 32.52 hundredths equals 100. Next, determine the quotient for each item and evaluate if it is the same as the sum of 67.48 hundredths and 32.52 hundredths, which is 100. For letter A, 100 divided by 5 equals 20. Letter A is not the correct answer. Letter B, 350 divided by 7 equals 50. Letter B is not the correct answer. Letter C, 1,000 divided by 10 equals 100. So, the correct answer is letter C, 1,010. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe.